The universe is big, but how big? Well, its size is so vast that our puny human minds can't even begin to fathom it. So to put the size of the universe in perspective, we'll start with something more familiar, Earth. Our home is roughly 7,926 miles in diameter. If you were to walk around the Earth at a typical walking speed of 3 miles per hour, it would take approximately 1 year or around 346 days to complete the journey, assuming you didn't take any breaks. And if we took the fastest human-made object ever, the Parker Solar Probe, moving at 394,736 miles per hour, it could circle the Earth in less than three and a half minutes. Next, let's talk about Mars. Mars is approximately 61 million miles away. I know, quite the jump, but these numbers are minuscule compared to the rest of the universe. Once again, using the Parker Solar Probe, the fastest man-made object, it would take around 155 hours to reach Mars from Earth, or about six and a half days. Zooming out even further to our solar system, roughly estimated to be around 18.6 trillion miles when considering the Oort cloud as its outer boundary, which is considered the farthest extent of our solar system. This translates to about two light years across. If you didn't know, at these distances, miles and kilometers are essentially never used. We use light years instead, which is how far light, the fastest thing in the universe, travels in one Earth year. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second in a vacuum, and can circle the Earth seven times in a single second, meaning one light year equals about six trillion miles. But our solar system is just one of billions in the Milky Way, one of 100 to 400 billion actually, and the closest solar system to us, Proxima Centauri, is over four light years away. Using current technology, it would take potentially hundreds of thousands of years to reach our closest solar neighbor. However, this would only be the case with larger crafts carrying more equipment or even people. A theoretical design called the solar sail could solve this issue. Essentially, it's a large sail made of extremely light and reflective materials. On the smaller end, these sails would be around 32 square meters, which is comparable to a boxing ring, while the larger ones could reach the size of a basketball court. Solar sails would use radiation pressure from light to accelerate a spacecraft. The concept is similar to how wind propels a sailboat, except in this case, sunlight or directed laser beams provide the force. This technology could allow us to send small chips to Alpha Centauri within a human lifetime. But how large is our galaxy? Well, it stretches around 100,000 light years across. That means the fastest possible thing in the universe, light, would still take 100,000 years to go from one end of the Milky Way to the other. Beyond this lies the local group, a collection of over 50 galaxies bound together by gravity. The local group spans about 10 million light years, and our Milky Way is one of its largest members, alongside the Andromeda Galaxy. Andromeda, our closest galactic neighbor, is about 2.5 million light years away, and is actually on a slow collision course with the Milky Way. But don't worry about that, because that'll happen in around 4.5 billion years. However, the local group itself is part of an even larger structure, the Virgo Supercluster. This supercluster contains thousands of galaxies across a distance of 110 million light years. But the Virgo supercluster is just one region in the Laniakea supercluster. Laniakea spans an insane 520 million light years, uniting multiple superclusters into a single structure. It contains over 100,000 galaxies, each holding billions or even trillions of stars. Did you think we were done? Well, we can zoom out even further to the cosmic web, a vast network of galaxy clusters connected by filaments, which are basically just chains of galaxies. The cosmic web fills up the volume of the observable universe, which is about 93 billion light years in diameter, and contains up to 2 trillion galaxies, of which we've mapped far less than 1%. Well, that's as far as we can zoom out. We have no idea what's past the observable universe. More universe, a void, we really have no clue. Some estimates suggest the actual universe could be at least 250 times larger than the observable universe. 